Sacramento, California. I am the creator of a series of Christian meditation and affirmation CDs and the developer of the award-winning website, thechristianmeditator.com. My Christian meditation ministry teaches believers how to experience the wonderful benefits of meditation in a way that completely honors God. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tender Warrior Show, where we focus on issues that affect the African-American male population. I would like to welcome our guest all the way from Sacramento, California, Miss Rhonda Jones. Hello, Rhonda. How are you doing? Hi, Jeff. I'm doing really well, and thank you for having me on the show. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. Let's jump right into it. What exactly is Christian meditation? Okay. Well, Jeff, when I talk to a group of Christians about biblical meditation, one of the first questions that I ask them is what is the greatest battle of the believer, or anyone for that matter? And I say, well, Joyce Myers wrote a book about it, and the answer is it's the battle of our mind. And if we look through the scriptures, we find that Jesus throughout scriptures tells us that we have to renew our minds and to bring our thoughts under the captivity of God in biblical principles and biblical truths. And so biblical meditation is really a tool that we can use to help to renew our minds, to quiet our minds, and to bring us in greater peace, joy, and intimacy with God. Now you talked and explained to us what is meditation, but let, let, me, talk, let me ask you, what are some of the benefits of Christian meditation? What are some of the benefits that we can look forward to? Many of us have heard about the physical benefits of uh, meditation, which helps to relieve uh, some of the symptoms of physical illness due to stress in our lives, but there's also some mental and spiritual benefits as well. And one of those benefits is biblical meditation helps us to restore our peace of mind. Now, I don't know about you, but many of us really have a hard time turning off our thoughts. You know, we just are constantly thinking just repetitively over and over again. And one of the sad things is many of the thoughts that we think are negative or they're very destructive. And so one of the benefits is it helps us to bring stillness to our mind and teaches us how to take authority over our thoughts. Another one in controlling negative thoughts is, you know, I like to say if your thoughts, if you're not controlling your thoughts, then your thoughts are controlling you. And, you know, our thoughts lead to our actions and, and our behaviors. And so if we control our thoughts, we can change a lot of our destruct, destructive behaviors. Also, it helps us to live more present-centered. And people think, well, what does that mean? It means focusing on our lives fully right now today, not living in the past and you know, rehashing old regrets or just always looking toward the future, you know, at some future destination and missing all the blessings that are in our lives right now today. Another is it helps us create more balance in our lives. It helps us to reflect on what it is that we really want. There was a study recently done that asked um, what really makes people happy, and they interviewed like 250 people over the age of 60 to, to find out their wisdom. And one of the, the answers was to be true to ourselves. And that means to find out what's really in our heart. I mean, what really is going to make us tick? What's really going to make us happy? And many of us, you know, we just, you know, we grow up learning that we're supposed to do A, B, C, and D without really reflecting on what's in our heart. So getting steel helps us to to do that. And so, so those are some of the, you know, the, the, there's more, but those are some of the, the good ones. LaRonda, let me ask you, is biblical meditation biblically based? I know one of my favorite scriptures is in Psalms 1914 says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So I don't know if I answered my own question, but is biblical meditation biblical? Jeff, there's many references to meditation in the Bible. In fact, if you were to read Psalms 119, you would see about 11 or more references to the word meditation just in that particular passage alone. But some of my favorite scriptures are Joshua 1 and 8, which says to meditate on, 
to meditate on God's word night and day so that we would have great success. And also Psalms 46 and 10, it says it's in the stillness that we begin to know God. And so, you know, the words like reflection, ponder, um, ruminate, contemplate are all components of meditation and, and all work um, to help us to know God a lot more and a lot more intimately. Rhonda, tell us more about your CD ministry and in in your Christian meditation CDs. Okay, well, I am, you know, the author of 25 biblical meditation and affirmation CDs, which contain about 35 um, meditations all together. And the meditations all um, begin with a, a progressive relaxation, some deep breathing exercises that help us to relax. And they're all followed by a biblical narrative or in affirmations that, that really help us to absorb and embrace God's word and God's truths, all set to beautiful background music. So, you know, if you're a little bit sketchy about, well, how do I meditate? Um, the CDs really take the guesswork out of it because they guide you through every uh, step of the way. And they're on a variety of of, of topics um, that many people struggle with. So, um, and I sell them on my website. I'd like to thank Miss Rhonda Jones all the way from Sacramento, California for joining us on the Tender Warrior Show. Remember, whatever your field of choice is, please master the ability to read, write, listen, analyze, and speak well, and it will help you to reach your destiny. Now next week we're gonna have a surprise guest, so tune in to the Tender Warrior Show next week. Until then, I'm Jeff Robertson, and I'll see you next week.